Uh, yeah, good morning everybody. So I'm <coughs> glad to um, show the, the training activity. So European Teaching Network uh, comprises quite a lot of these uh, training activities. I learned uh, also this. So and together with the colleagues, uh, yeah, we made an assemblage and I will show this morning, maybe some of you were not aware, some will be uh, already be involved in that, but some might have not been uh, the, the occasion to go more close to this. Maybe even some of the young researchers are, uh, will see some, some things new for them or today. Okay, um, the general outline, I think this is uh, taken from the proposal. So there are the years ours, recruitment, etc. And uh, yeah, and also Dominica, I think she, she pointed out also the personal career development plan, which is really a central document and uh, also a central part of the, of the whole training and, and, and teaching network. And then you see here some of these activities where we were thinking that this is uh, complementary and it will, of course, uh, give uh, the students a more uh, focused and detailed, uh, let's say, experience and, of course, knowledge. Yeah, I will go through this. And the local, so first uh, I will start with the local host-based training. So we have, of course, and this is just the list of the topics of all these ESRs. Already you see, it's not, I mean, a lot of um, uh, types and, and um, titles. But uh, what is behind, of course, is the uh, relation between researcher, supervisor and uh, the industrial mentors, of course. Of course, what we also see, it's a lot of uh, knowledge which also disseminates here. We, we will have really topics, uh, as the proposal says, from uh, yeah, micro scale to macro scale, from experimental part till simulation, all this. But what stands behind of this? Definitely, it should, of course, be a precise scope, so the individual uh, training on site at the university. And uh, the young researchers should be integrated in the existing local research team also to get some, uh, yes, of course, some knowledge and, of course, some, some uh, team experience uh, in, the, in the labs, of course. And uh, in their host universities, of course, they should be an active part in, their, in the particular doctorate training programs. I think each university has own programs, has own needs, which have to be fulfilled. Of course, it should be, uh, should be, uh, uh, should be clear. Uh, but to show, of course, I mean the most intensive, you saw already the topics, but also the most of the time you will be at your host universities. Of course, this is part of the local host-based training. Okay. I think this is what you do mainly, but of course, uh, you see already, and since we met here, and a lot of people from different places are coming, so we have, of course, set up a network-wide training. So this is what we have here with the, the general outline. So we were thinking, because we have also a, a central topic, uh, steel industry, the ladle as an aggregate, and the different, as I said, the different scopes there. And there we decided, or it was decided, to have research training courses particu to particular topics. Yeah? This is really, so um, we could say maybe uh, teachers or professors give their best lectures on a particular topic, but of course it has to be related in, um, in the general outline. Further on, we have complementary skill workshops. So yeah, you will be a professional, you will, after these three years of, of research, you will go to an industrial environment, you will uh, maybe go or stay in academia. So um, there you need, of course, some other skills than just the research, of course. Uh, this is clear. Um, so we are all in this international um, network already. My fire is something, but of course, in an academic background, international <coughs> conferences are interesting. We have, of course, uh, we, we participate regularly, and of course, this is also a good way to show you know, your experience and your results, of course, at conferences. So I think this is really a good, um, a good way also to show you know, what, what have the training has been done. So we implemented conferences as well in the training. Yeah, we have an industrial uh, topic. And of course, plant site visits are important. We have uh, industry partners here around. And of course, this is a very important part, uh, yeah, just to learn um, of course, technology, but also to learn uh, yeah, how um, industry companies work and, of course, to see uh, if this is also um, the right uh, future, maybe future work or future, future plans. 
Um, last but not least, we there's what we call the network-wide workshops, so informal discussions. I will later on show that this is something what the ESRs themselves should organize, that they have own groups or smaller groups to discuss their results in particular. So, and good plans need good schedules, so I was, if we had this gunshot really finally or finalized, I was a little bit shocked to see all these different activities and this was pressed in one, in one gun chart. So blue means it's, it's the host university time, the reds are the second men's at the, at the second host university. You see already maybe one third sometimes of your, of your research time, the, the students will be uh, at, at different places. Could be university, sorry, could be also, I have to uh, add this, could be also industrial uh, second men, sorry, I missed this. But here you see also, more or less, I hope you can see it, the research training courses, site visits and workshops, all the complementary still uh, workshops. I will show uh, later on how this will be organized. So, a very dense program, starting here with the kickoff. So, we see maybe more in particular what, what, what's ongoing. And uh, when we set up this gunshot, we were also thinking, okay, uh, it's a really dense uh, schedule. And uh, maybe as a reminder already, since we are, have to think about the training activities and, and all the schedules, um, of course, Dominica pointed it out. So first, supervisor of the industry and DSR should be uh, involved in the career development plan. So this should be, of course, the central part, how should this should develop. We were also um, uh, announced that first segments really start already at the mid of this year already. So now it's really then a uh, very fast ongoing exchange. These are just examples that uh, some uh, how this how this will be exchanged. And of course, then it was the question: How will we handle and where should be the the, the date or what when should be the dates and the locations of our trainings? So this is of course very central because this has to be be organized. Maybe this local host training, actually, maybe the second man's could be shifted, but I know, Mark, you are, of course, <laughs> looking at these uh, things strictly no, to no, keep no, in no. mind. But uh, I mean, the, the, the important thing is that the second man takes place, uh, exactly, I, I, yeah. but it can take place uh, in a different uh, time shift. Exactly, uh, maybe we have some shift. But nevertheless, we should take care of, of course, to, to, to fulfill the needs which is, which is given here. I'm coming now to some things because we are also thinking about, okay, we have really a strict timeline. And for instance, the question was when to start with some courses, with the refractory teaching courses. So um, yeah, there was already some, some time because some, some things happened in Mino, for instance. Some of the ESRs will already will start later on. The question was how could they join already the first training course? Well, we have to, to, to think about that. Um, the question was maybe it could be uh, they could also participate and maybe we have some reimbursement that's because we really want to start uh, with this in, 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 in June now. Yeah. But this was just, uh, just to show that we have of course these time restrictions for the trainings and now I will go more in detail uh, what, is, what is in this particular. So the scientific focus of art is very brief, uh, so we have uh, industrial environment or in that industrial aggregate, so this is the multi-scale approach. And for the trainings, we, we will have picked up some uh, particular industrial wear mechanisms, so we picked up what could be of interest and what is the need of um, refractory materials which are uh, in, in use of, of, a, of a ladle uh, in a steel plant. So, I mean, this could be thermal, mechanical, chemical wear, and in your particular research works, you will, of course, focus very different uh, ways of uh, ways of, uh, of of particular interests or some, pa some particular topics. The idea of the training is, of course, to give also uh, back background uh, fundamentals, but also very particular research. So, and this will start. Yeah, thanks to Dietmar, will start in Leoven in June. So. Uh, <coughs> The first refractory training course. So these are consecutive. You see that there are different parts, and it will start really with, a, with something dedicated on refractories, a seminar on fracture mechanics. Um, was outlined by, by, by Dietmar. So you see some, some fundamentals of uh, refractory fracture creep, uh, fracture and creep testing, of course, uh, the, the, the devices, but also some, some simulation and the thermomechanical lining behavior. This will be combined with a site visit, 
Oh, it will still work, I think. Yeah, with the, with yeah. Uh, with the technical <laughs> center on the oven. Thank you, Maguli and uh, Nicola. Um, some further contributions from other partners are are our plan. As far as we understood it, I think, yeah, of course, this is uh, more or less mandatory for the young researchers, but it's also open for industrial participation. So all this, please, I mean, this will be circulated. Dates and announcement will, of course, maybe follow in particular, but please, for the, for the industrial partners, please also check, you know, is it an interesting topic that you can, could uh, also be interested in or of, of some of your uh, what's my engineers, technicians, uh, technical staff could be interested in these particular uh, topics. So, starting in uh, the open. So, then the second is then already scheduled. So, we have one week in September starting with a two, the two days training course in Aachen. So, it's the second, uh, it's, it's part one of the, the teaching course, and uh, it will be on, on corrosion. And again, of course, we will start with some, some fundamentals. So we invited uh, different, different presenters already and were thinking about particular topics, again, dedicated to, to um, yeah, steel and ladle technology. Uh, so you see already there are some particular materials already named, some particular uh, topics for the corrosion, but also, again, open for yeah, uh, researchers, but as well, of course, the industrial uh, partners. No, you see some, some schedules, and as I said, uh, it will be a full week, so we have Monday and Tuesday is scheduled for, for training, but we will also have some time to have some, some extra activities. Then we have the first uh, part, uh, as I said, international conferences are part of the training, so we would like to uh, take part, or would uh, welcome everybody to take part at the international conference uh, for the Colloquium of Refractories in Aachen. So the call for papers, that will be, might be, it's next week, the deadline, so it might be not uh, <laughs> suitable for you, but I think so we uh, scratched it and said participation. It will be a good uh, opportunity to see uh, uh, how also industrial papers, but also academic papers are presented. I think it's a well-organized and also well-established conference. Uh, as you know, it, it takes place yearly in Aachen, uh, and I think it's uh, one of the uh, most valuable conferences in our in our field. So participation. It's so so in this week it should be the Wednesday and Thursday time. So you see, it's a it's a dense uh, topic, and as you see, iron and steel is always a topic in this in for this for this conference. Yeah. So and to end this week, so we arrange or we, we work so that we uh, at the end have some uh, plant visits. So uh, we will organize a transport from from Aachen to uh, Almoiden by by bus, probably three hours something, maybe two and a half, maybe okay, um, okay. So to let's say to condense again uh, uh, the, the, the 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 part of the label technology with some practical approaches, of course. Probably it's not just ladles which will be seen, but the whole plant. We will have a whole plant tour. We had already. It's, it's, a, it's a very interesting tour. But we implemented also, and we will see how, how many people will uh, will be able to, to present of these topics. But it was also the idea then, because two days before you had uh, the, the, some some fundamentals on corrosion and interaction of refractories and uh, and steel, and uh, also in a ladle. But this is, of course, these are practical uh, issues, and uh, thanks to to, to Ciro, he wanted to arrange that. Of course, uh, technical people from from Tata Steel will give some some courses. We will see if all this will probably not, but uh, how how much or how many uh, this could be covered. So general technology. Well, we have a dream ladle lining, maybe etc. The demands, economy, etc. etc. So a very practical point of view for this uh, training activity. Yeah? Okay. Second research uh, training courses, um, mainly dedicated to, to simulation and modeling. So I hope uh, Eric is, is right because we <laughs> turned around the, 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 the consecutive uh, following. So we, yeah, okay, we start with numerical approaches, um, multi-physics coupling and the thermomechanic modeling. Yeah? So some of you have topics in modeling and simulation, but I think this is upcoming. I think this is in our also academic uh, environment, a very, very important tool um, and needed also in the material science, so simulation becomes more and more important, so it will be very valuable 
to have this in a, in a particular training course. Um, as I said here, so generally, so we have scheduled for 2018 already the, the training courses. This is more or less uh, fixed. So this will be announced then by June or in the midst of the year. Well, it might now locations, etc. But you said maybe August, okay? But that we can schedule also these uh, uh, venue or the, the location and the date of these venues, okay? This will go then in 2019, 2020. You see, this is according to the gun chart, of course. Let's say maybe six months uh, before, or in a time before, mm -hmm. locations and um, the time will be uh, will be announced. Oh, this this will be happen. So the same for the uh, last parts of the first training course. So, so shock and the field applications and case studies. You see also this is next year 2019, 2020. Now you see this is an uh, active ongoing research training course which will be scheduled then on time. But for 2018 it's already quite fixed. Okay, research training. Now, second point, very also important, are the complementary skills. So, so to, to, to launch up also other like skills like research, communication, management things. So this is part of the uh, complementary skill workshops. Um, you see here, these are just, let's say, just headlines of what could be interesting and what could be done. No? I think also Dominica put some in, in, the, in the personal career development plan, like time management, networking, etc., project management, and, and etc. These are headlines. From our point of view, if you please remember the gun chart, there's a lot of time restrictions, a lot of traveling, a lot of settlements, etc. So we decided. If, if it's possible to follow a general procedure, which means please check in your host universities um, if you can choose not exactly this course, but if there are these courses, if, if it's uh, yeah, if in the doctoral school or what we call the Dec Center for Doctoral Studies, if, if there are courses available to, to, to do them on at, your, at the host university, because then we will of course not have this uh, traveling etc. around to, to, to come together. It will avoid some traveling. If there are not particular courses available, we will find an individual source. It could be in a second month, for instance. So, for instance, in Aachen, in our Center for Doctoral Studies, um, if, a, if, a, if, a, if a young researcher comes to us uh, and, and has time, and then, then these courses are also available for uh, researchers from abroad. But we have to, to, to check really um, to avoid a lot of traveling and to avoid uh, really uh, to have uh, for this one or two courses really to have this. So please check if you're, we already did and ask if there are these um, particular courses. I think in most universities this is available. If it's uh, suitable we will, we will check, but this is our first approach. If um, yeah, we need some, some else, of course, then we will arrange and organize this. Huh? Please do not think that you should all take all these CARES uh, courses, so please check uh, one or two of them per year. I think this, this should be something. So management is something. The second is, of course, dedicated research dissemination, uh, safety funding, and, and intellectual property, which becomes more and more important. If it's possible and suitable, if we can uh, achieve, or if you can achieve such courses at your home universities, that would be perfect. Otherwise, we find, find solutions. The idea is really to have, in parallel to the, to the dedicated research programs, really to have something, something else in this field, you know, to prepare, of course, also for the academia, but also for an industrial uh, career, you know, uh, complementary skills. Mm -hmm. now, this, is, this is the idea, okay? Just to give this. Yeah, last but not least, um, you know, just, just pick up, workshops was, was also popping up in this gun chart, so we were thinking how to organize this, and also in the proposal it was said, this is something which should be uh, organized by the ESRs themselves. So uh, we will come together in, in smaller groups, I don't know, three, four of them, uh, organized, self-organized. So the hosting part of the hosting universities, of course, will, uh, will help to, to have rooms and uh, dates and locations, but on the other hand, it should be a self-organized uh, small workshop for the ESRs in particular. Yeah? 
Um, I mean, you will be uh, networked, great networking around, and, and, and that will definitely work. So the idea is to uh, have a short presentation, but also discussions about research. I think supervisors are welcome, but of course, uh, yeah, should be something organized by, by, by yourself. Uh, but also, yeah, work package leaders, yeah, please invite them you know, to have a very brief discussion. And of course, to meet also other topics. Huh? So experimental parts meet uh, modeling. So and then of course there are, might be restrictions, and uh, please overcome them. Uh, or I don't know. There are a lot, a lot of things around. Yeah? Decentralized, self-organized. I think this is also something a skill. Yeah, you should uh, develop, of course, um, and um, yeah, should be let's say uh, workshops. Two workshops was was a number we gave here uh, per year. Uh, so. It, but in a, in a short time and in a, in, a, in a smaller, much smaller group. Okay, I think I showed this already in, in, in our video pre kickoff. Just to show, we have of course, I mean, the hook for the recruitment. Uh, I think we still are ongoing. In yeah. we himself are ourselves as well. Hopefully, we can really fulfill the recruitment very soon. <laughs> <laughs> Nevertheless, okay. But um, you see here. Uh, yeah, segments, etc. So the, you see, there are these tasks. I think I addressed all of them. I hope you see that we are uh, in discussion. Um, and this is, of course, um, yeah, also to show. I mean, you see here, of course, some things always have to be confirmed. Uh, I like your approach to say, okay, we are a team. I mean, we are, we are several people. You know who to address. Uh, please do that. I think this is very important. If something is from your point of view not uh, running in your term or in your in your direction please address this I think we to we do our best to confirm all these all these all these things and have still to clear some some open points I mean this is uh, this is something last but not least I have to name it we, we, we set this e-learning tool we want to set up this but we still have to check some technical things still to set up but also some things about uh, intellectual property personal rights etc we have to think about that and how to disseminate also this uh, these recorded uh, training sessions, for instance, about things. But I think we will also overcome this, and it will be definitely also a central part of, of Aether. Yeah, second point is then the, already the proactive knowledge dissemination. But I think this will, this will come also out later, so we have to confirm formats and dates, etc. Uh, I mean, also scientific publication. Please, uh, I mean, we know that you are aware of this, and everybody, also the supervisors, because this is our in the academia our daily work, but um, of course we have to define papers, reviewers, etc., maybe topics, and this will, 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 be, that will be done. Um, at the website, I said already, I think it's still a very helpful tool. For instance, for the recruitment, we already uh, uh, use this. Also, this is, 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 is still active and ongoing, and a helpful tool. So, and now, I hope we could provide you a good training, a good knowledge, and now let's start. Okay, thank you. Okay, thank you. So it's important to, to yeah. use all our network, especially for, for a young ESA who just arrived with us. Please communicate around you about this open position we have in Aaron for ESA 66 six, six, yeah. and now in the open for ESA 8. eight yes. yes. Uh, so we still have two open positions, so communicate in your network in order to improve this recruitment. We 